Yo guys, what's up? For the last couple weeks, I've been doing some testing for MASH games on BMX Streets. The game is still a few months out, but MASH wanted to give you guys a better look at the game and has decided to let me share some gameplay with you guys. This is an alpha build, so this doesn't fully represent the gameplay for when the game launches, but the game is feeling pretty good right now, I can't lie. Alrighty guys, here we are. Uh, we're in BMX streets. Uh, this is obviously not an area that will be in the game. This is just a little test facility that we have to uh, kind of explore what we can do in BMX streets as far as the gameplay goes. But yeah, before we cruise around, I uh, just want to show you guys the grinds in this game because that's probably the biggest difference with this game as opposed to the, the last one pipe. Let's grab our bike and uh, yeah, let's run over to a rail. So the biggest difference in BMX streets is it has physics based grinding. Now in pipe, you know, we were used to hopping into a grind, you know, switching around like that. But something that's really interesting about this is with physics-based grinding, there's no like locked-in animations. So if we're setting in a double peg, we can actually just push up into a tooth. Um, if we want, we could kind of swing our tire over, land in a smith. We could also just pull our front wheel up. Now we're in a tire ride. We could hop back into a grind. But yeah, having these physics-based grinds makes the game feel a lot more realistic and it's definitely just a lot more satisfying when you feel like you have full control of the grind like even if you're in a feeble you can actually like steer your front wheel so let's say you want to do a feeble around a big curve ledge like this if we don't turn with the ledge you actually just kind of spin out of it because your front wheel is just going straight right so you actually have to turn with the ledge which just adds a whole level of realism but it just makes it that much more satisfying to uh, pull tricks like that the same thing kind of applies to a smith grind uh, going forward you can actually just lock into a smith indefinitely which you know we have seen people do that in real life but let's say you 180 into a smith your back tire is actually just gonna ride up onto the ledge like it would in real life i think what i'm most stoked about is the toothpicks they look so good actually in this build that i'm playing right now they are a little scuffed so i will put in a clip from a previous build i had where the toothpicks 
who are just looking absolutely incredible. They look like real life. Not only do they look so good because they're essentially operating how they do in real life, but it just gives you full control. So, I mean, you can get really bad looking grinds, <laughs> but you know, if you master the game, you can get some pretty incredible looking stuff. Something else that's actually pretty cool is you can ride up and down stairs. You could also hit the classic nose manual up the stairs. <laughs> Skill stair ride whip. Oh, <laughs> a little sketchy. You can also like skid your back wheel now, which is pretty cool. Definitely like a, a better way to do speed checks or at least a cooler way as opposed to sticking your foot in the tire. Definitely add some style into a line by getting that little skid 180 in. Could do one of those classic like tire slide 270s. Nice. <laughs> All right, let's drop into the bowl and get some airs. We can uh, kind of show off some of the tweaked tricks. So a lot of tricks have two stages to them. So let's take a turn down, for example. All right, there's the turn down. And then in the turn down, we can actually tweak it to be a lot more clicked. You can also do that with toboggans, tabletops, inverts, euros, pretty much every air trick. I think the toboggan is definitely my favorite. It's like a normal toboggan. And then we can actually tweak that out. We could do an invert, right? There's an invert. We'll get a tweaked one. Oh. Oh. And a big thing that people are going to be super hyped, at least coming from pipe, is how you can do flares now. The flares are looking like actual <laughs> flares. They were not looking like that in the previous game. Uh, we could also get like the front flip flare. Yeah. Uh, we could get like 540 flares. Oh my God. So in order to do flip airs uh, or just flips in general, it's uh, an input you have to do before you actually take off. Uh, but once you're in the air, you can't really like start flipping, right? You see he's like trying to look back, but Obviously, you can't just do a flip midair. There's actually two different hop heights in the game. You have like your standard bunny hop and then like a really small one. Uh, so that's really awesome for grinds because instead of doing like these huge hops in between grinds, you can get these like more realistic little tiny baby hops. But yeah, my overall impressions and feelings about this so far is that it's exactly what I wanted. Basically, what I wanted was a more realistic version of Pipe. I wanted more control over my grinds and my character in general. And that's kind of what this game is delivering. You might notice I have, you know, this bike right here. Oh, now we're on, we're on a different bike now. Oh, switch my bike up again. Uh, I have had a good look at the bike customization. It is pretty awesome i can't lie i think there's like some options in there that people are going to be surprised it's just like oh i didn't think you'd be able to do that to your bike but yeah a lot of options and a lot of customizability with the bike uh more than i was really expecting something that's actually pretty cool in this game is the pumping so obviously we could pedal around um to get speed for stuff but you could also just pump you can even pump flat ground kind of like you would in real life and we can actually just pump the flat ground get speed come in here pump the transition pump up pump down pump up pump down pump up get a lot of speed by pumping and something that's pretty interesting with the pumping is let's say i just go fast and i ride that bank you actually just kind of clear it um, but you can actually pump and stick to the transition and not only does that work on the ground but it works in grinds too let's let's say i I could grind that that was that was a little bumpy uh, but we can actually pump the grind so we can hop into a grind and uh, kind of stay glued to the uh, ledge there by pumping it you can pump a bowl corners really good Ooh. yo can we get our flare down with bars yo <laughs> All right, we're actually going to swap over to Nina. Nina is looking a lot smaller on the bike uh, as opposed to Matt there. Could get our tweaked tile cups here. They look so good. You can really add like a lot of style into your, uh, your riding with the tweaked tricks. Turndowns are looking so good too. Mm. 
Ooh. Oh my god. Actually, something else uh, that's pretty interesting about the game. Uh, there's a setting in the game called Grind Spin Assist at the moment. And let's say I want a 180 into a grind. Uh, it'll basically make sure that I get locked into that grind every single time. But now we have it turned off, so I will have full control of my spin uh, going into a grind. So this definitely just adds a whole layer of difficulty to the game because you actually have to line up a perfect 180 to get into a grind, which, you know, it's, you know, it's, it's difficult. Um, I think at this point, I've had the game for a few weeks. I've got a little over 50 hours. Uh, and I still really struggle with the grind as, uh, spin assist off. The setting that allows the player, if, if they desire, to just have that much more control over the character. Oh my god, we got a lot of pop out of there. Yeah, we got a lot of hop. So we could try that again and do the small hop out to see the difference. Oh! Okay, yeah, that was definitely a lot lower of a hop. So yeah, here we are with the smaller hop. Yeah, that looked a lot more <laughs> realistic. We obviously were a little, little late <laughs> getting to the whip, but uh, yeah, that that looks a lot better. Whoa. Oh my god, <laughs> that, that actually worked that good. Okay, besides this being a bit of an unrealistic combo you can kind of just see with the little hops just how much more realistic um the grind combinations look when you don't have to do such a huge hop in between them okay <laughs> the, the hard 450 out was a bit much toothpick drop in a fakey okay <laughs> get some pumping in here tuck Get a rebate on that uh, flare look back, hopefully. Let's try it out. There it is. Nice. We have like can cans, mm, extended can can, the no foot cans. Oh, those are looking so good. Yeah. <laughs> the whip bar whip to the fakey foot. <laughs> oh my god. Classic backflip to fakey into the fakey fronty. Yo, get the fakey front flip three. Let's see if we can hit that up. It looks so good. Oh, shoot. <laughs> that was a little sketchy. Get the fakey front flip one. Yo, <laughs> into the one footer there. Go down up into the bowl. Bar bar back. Let's pump into a disaster. Get a quick 180 back in. Get the bar bar back. Let's try that again with maybe like a three in. Yo, okay, a little disaster three in. I don't think I've done a wall ride yet, but you can wall ride. Wall rides are looking good. <laughs> Bar over pegs backflip out. Okay, sure. Yeah, that was so good. I like how you can just drop into a grind from a manual. That feels so smooth. Yo, keep it going. Let's uh, hopefully hit the triple tie ride. There you go. <laughs> Dude, getting a 180 pegs going with any sort of speed with the grind uh, spin assist off is pretty difficult. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Pump through this rail here. Oh, it's so cool to be able to pump on a grind. Yeah, I'm just stoked on the pumping in general, like being able to pump through a grind, not only to like just stay on the rail, but to also 
pick up momentum to make it through the rest of the rail here. And we will pump the up there. Yeah, that is feeling really good. <laughs> okay, that was a little sketchy, but man, I'll, I'll put in a clip right now of a, of a trick I got on that in a previous build. And man, it was just looking so good. It took me a long time to get that, but it was so smooth. All right, guys, before we go, I'm just going to try to grind this gap tire ride across this. And yeah, maybe just try to get like a switch three out or something like that. Oh, wait, the manual 180 bar. Okay, I'm taking that. <laughs> God, I was going to try to manual to, to switch three, but I kind of had to turn to the left a bit on the rail to stay on. So we just hit the 180 bar out. But yeah, that was actually sick. But anyways, guys, yeah, that's going to do it for the video. Uh, final thoughts. I'm extremely hyped on the way the game is feeling. I can guarantee you it's probably looking maybe a little weird maybe in this video. I mean, it's not finished, but I would say it, it feels like way better than it looks if that makes any sort of sense. I think the game looks great, but it just feels even better. But yeah, guys, that's going to be it for me today. I think the, the next thing on MASH's agenda for, I mean, at least you guys to see is a trailer with a release date. Yeah, that's the next thing you're going to see from him. Huge shout out to MASH for allowing me to to not only play and do some testing, but to also be able to share it with you guys. I know there's been a lot of doubts in the community that this game is ever going to come out, that it's even close to finished. Uh, but yeah, hopefully, hopefully this video gives you guys a little bit of a little bit of hope uh, and just know that the game is, in my opinion, super worth it, worth the wait. I'm excited for you guys to be able to, to get your hands on. I'm excited to check out the world, man. I've, I've seen a few clips. MASH has teased me with a couple clips of the world, uh, and the game just looks absolutely incredible uh, when you're playing in an actual city map. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, leave a like, subscribe. We'll be seeing you guys in the next one. Peace out, guys. Bye-bye. Let me just uh, get off me bike and throw it one last time for you guys. Yeah. All right. Peace out, guys.